patience you show me kindness some super cool night lights. They aren't shining yet, but if I put one in my room at night, it'll help me see in the dark. Only I like them all, and I can't decide which one to put in my room. Do you know which one I should put in my room? If I put the astronaut night light in my room, it'll be like going to outer space every night. And if I put the shark nightlight in my room, it'll be like going on a deep sea adventure. And if I put the frog nightlight in my room, I might wanna hop like a frog all night. They're all great nightlights, but I just don't know which one to put in my room. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? What are those lights with you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I have all of these night lights, but I'm trying to pick one to put in my room. Night lights shine in the dark. It's true. I have a story how you can shine too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me. Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker. It is so great to see you. We are having a light parade in the neighborhood tonight and we all need a light to shine. So I'm bringing this flashlight. Oh, it's my best dog Stormy Jane. Looks like she's ready for the light parade too. That reminds me of a Bible story. Do you wanna hear it? <laughs> I guess Stormy's ready. 
Today's true story from the Bible begins on a mountain with Jesus and his friends, the disciples. While they were on the mountain, Jesus gave his friends an important job to do. What do you think the important job was? Do you think he told them to be a firefighter? Do you think he told them to be mail carriers? Do you think he told them to be teachers? Those are really important jobs. But Jesus had one important job for everyone. It's so, so, so important. Jesus said to go and tell everyone everywhere that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. Jesus said to go and tell. Wow, that's a very important job. And guess what? We can do what Jesus says. We can tell people about Jesus. Can you say, Jesus wants to be your friend forever? Ready? Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Great job, you guys. And when we go and tell people about Jesus, we are shining our light. <laughs> now let's think about some people we could go and tell about Jesus. There are so many places we can go and tell. Oh, look, it's a team practicing soccer. Say, Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Ready? Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Great job. Now, where else can we go? Yes, we can go and tell our friends at the playground. Let's say Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Ready? Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Wow, you are really good at this. Let's do one more. Oh, look, it's a grandma. We can go and tell our grandma about Jesus. Ready? Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Great job. When we go and tell everyone everywhere that Jesus wants to be their friend forever, we are doing what Jesus says and shining our light. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can do what Jesus says? I can do what Jesus says. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who can do what Jesus says? I can do what Jesus says. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Telling others about Jesus is a shining thing to do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus said to go tell others about him. We shine when we go and tell everyone everywhere about Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I've got an idea. I'm gonna put this car night light in my room so it'll remind me to go tell everyone everywhere about Jesus. And I'm gonna start right now. See you next time. Let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16. Let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16.